Welcome everyone, you have the Pixel 8 Pro and to transfer data from your iPhone on the Pixel itself, we need to see this screen. Welcome to your Pixel. If you instead see the home screen and you have the lock screen as well, then we will need to factory reset and to factory reset our Pixel, the first step is we're going to open up the settings and in the settings I want you to scroll to the bottom until you see system and then I want you to scroll to the bottom again until you see reset options you are then going to tap on erase all data erase enter in your login erase one more time and now the factory data will initiate once the factory reset has completed let's select get started and then we see here set up using another device and we're going to select iphone or ipad it will then say connect to wi-fi and we're going to enter in our wi-fi login you will now see this screen, just be patient. You will now be prompted to sign in with your Google account. Google Pixel requires a Google account for most services to work. So I'd recommend if you have an account, enter it in. If you don't have an account, tap create account and follow the on-screen instructions. It's now asking to connect to a mobile network, either eSIM or inserting a SIM. You cannot transfer eSIM from your old iPhone to your Pixel, so you would need to get a new eSIM QR code if you are using that. If you want to use a physical SIM card, you have a SIM card slot on all models and you can insert a SIM. I have dedicated tutorials for both inserting SIM and activating eSIM on my channel. Use YouTube search how to insert SIM or how to activate eSIM and you'll find my video. We don't need to do this now, so I'm going to tap on skip and then skip again. And now it's asking us to enter in a pin. So I'm going to enter in a pin and I will re-enter. On Pixel 8 Pro, we have fingerprint unlock instead of you know, face unlock. So we're going to scroll to the bottom and then we're going to select I agree and then start. You will need to place your finger on the fingerprint sensor and every time you do a scan, slightly move your thumb around. And so we'll just keep on going here until everything has been scanned. There we go. And if you want to add another fingerprint, tap add another. Otherwise, we'll tap on next. Face unlock. This is not as good as face ID, but it is okay. So we're going to scroll to the bottom and then I'm going to agree to the face unlock. So now I'm going to tap on start. And you can't use glasses, so I'll place my face in the center, tilt the head up, then down, and there you go, the face unlock has been set up. Now it says here, copy data from your iPhone or iPad. And we're going to tap on next, and now we need to connect both devices. So if you have an iPhone here, we will need to go to the box of our Google Pixel and you should see this adapter. This is going to allow you to enter your old cable. So I'm going to get my old cable and you can see by default we can't connect it to the Google Pixel. You can see it's too large. But with this adapter we place the, uh, the USB-A part of the uh, cable into the adapter like this and then we plug the adapter into the phone like this and now we can connect 
our iPhone with our Google Pixel. It's now saying check your other device. And so on the iPhone, you must be on the home screen and then tap on the trust. And now the devices are connected. And then we'll tap on next like this. And now it's getting ready to copy. So it's just scanning your old iPhone and just checking what files can be moved. You can see I don't have much on this old iPhone. And so you can see everything that can be copied here. Tap the tick if you want to untick a certain app. So once we are ready, we're going to tap on copy. And you may need to swipe down to get this copy menu. And now it's going to ask us for the Google services. So if you want to have your phone be backed up to Google, then you can leave device backup on. Otherwise, you can turn this one off. Uh, location, you can have this one on. I'd recommend you leave it on because each app has to ask you to use the location before it's used. And scanning, you can have this one on as well. Sending data to Google, I'm personally going to turn that one off. And when we scroll to the bottom, we can now tap on accept. We now see the warranty screen. This just, if you tap on it, it will show your warranty information. Let's tap on it next. And continue setup. This is going to set up your Google Pay, which is Google's version of Apple Pay. It's going to set up Google Assistant, which is Google's version of Siri. If you want to set that stuff up, tap continue. Otherwise, we'll tap on leave. Review additional apps. I'd recommend you just tap OK and have all these additional apps installed. Uh, we'll be patient here. And so the copying finished immediately. If you have lots of files on your old iPhone, you will see transferring data and you will need to patiently wait for the transfer to complete. But in my case, it's all done. So we'll just tap on the done menu here. Now it says here, how to get your cloud data. And so we have a link. And if you enter this link, you'll be able to get your iCloud photos and iCloud videos. And so I'm not going to do this. I'm going to tap on OK. It now says turn off iMessage. So on the iPhone itself, you will need to open the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see messages. And then iMessage, tap this one to turn off the iMessage. And then we'll tap on done on the Google. And now it says getting phone ready. We see here, swipe to navigate. I'm going to tap on skip. And we see all set. And so if we swipe up, we are now on the home screen. So if we take a look here, if I go to the photos, go out of all this, you see, you know, this is something you'd only see on an iPhone. And so the photos have been moved over. The wallpaper hasn't been moved over, so you'd have to you know, set that one manually. But the messages, there'll be personal stuff there, so I won't open it. Also, the apps from your iPhone will download to Google Pixel, but you will have to manually sign into each account which is installed in your Google Pixel. It won't transfer the app data, so you will need to just do not factory reset your iPhone until everything on your new Google Pixel A Pro is you know, ready to rumble. Go through each app individually. Just make sure everything has moved over before you consider factory setting your old device. And with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.